Hi. So I'm horrible at drawing dogs, but but right. Uh, two videos ago, I made this OC Eula, and she has three dogs. So this guy also has a dog. So yeah, you get what I get what I mean. Get what my problems. So I do this thing, right? I go on Google Images and um, I look at pictures, um, references of all these dogs that I'm supposed to know how to draw and like I, I just hope that my brain just absorbs all these references and I'll magically know how to draw them but they, that's why I'm doing this video right that's not how it works um, um, so I watched them I watched this video by Jaza the youtuber and he was like if you break um, as long into these basic shapes you'll understand a bit more about the anatomy of the dog and um, I'll show you why I'm doing this video in the first place so right now that's me um, trying to draw these two dogs on the left there like from my basic knowledge of um, how to draw dogs and right it's looking good so far but when I erase the um, lines below yeah what is that what's that supposed to be <laughs> it's not like horrendous it's just um i want to get better <laughs> all right um so yeah i'll try again with the hot file out and uh yeah what, what even is that <laughs> let's just look at some reference pictures okay um moving on moving on all right so yeah um, so, because I look at so many references of dogs and, and never actually use them, right? That means I have like a ton of screenshots of dogs on my phone. And yeah, it's about time, right? The only thing I can compare to dogs, right, is when I was eight, I had this phase where I really liked drawing horses and the anatomy from what I understand about anatomy from when I was eight is that it's pretty similar to this right it's an animal with four legs though they're bound to look pretty similar right this isn't so bad um so yeah i know this is like uh, i'm already saying this but even like with this third sketch i think um i was getting more like comfortable drawing dogs like just like three sketches in and I feel like I kind of know how to draw a Doberman now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so with coloring dogs, right, I always go for like really realistic like fur and like lots of details and yeah, it's just, um, yeah, it's, it's not going to be cons like consistent, it's not going to look consistent, so I tried going for like a simpler coloring technique and then I gave this double man a scar by his eye to make it look like 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 that dog so um, when I come to drawing dogs it won't be like I'm just drawing the same breed like they're not just the same type of dog but I'm drawing that specific dog so right so with all these um, four dogs that I'm going to draw I try to add in like a unique feature that sets them apart from other dogs if that makes sense so with the hot file now um i think it was easier for me to draw the hot file because i drew the double man and it's apart from like the face the rest of the body is basically like a more muscular the same dog uh, just <laughs> muscular and i got so comfortable that I even tried like a different pose. <laughs> um, I drew, um, I drew this dog laying down, which is I think is a pose that I'll probably like draw more often, like or I'll be drawing more. And then I challenged myself even more. Like look at what I'm doing. I drew a dog facing upwards because I'm bound to at some point draw um, a dog looking upwards, right? and yeah just really like challenging myself and like stepping out of my comfort zone 
redoing that first sketch which was like really horrible but with practice right look at that it looks um not the best but it looks better um and yeah so with coloring again um the unique feature i gave this dog was like a blue fur patch for some reason i don't know i'm just making this up as i am along this took me like almost like four hours you know so i really like spent a long time doing this so as you saw there um that husky toy had like um a long fur coat but i just went for like the slim coat breed um because yeah <laughs> not like making excuses or anything but I just wanted to make things easier for myself and if I'm being honest I do prefer um, this type of top more than the long coat one not being lazy or anything like n not that's not like the sole reason but yeah I think I like this one more <laughs> And um, so when it came to colouring, I did realise that all of them had this, oh, nonetheless, like um, the same colour scheme, they're all like dark. So I tried giving this dog this like peachy like tint on his like coat and it looks nice. I guess I don't know if it does. I don't know if um, dogs like this looking like this even exist but you know I'm just like trying things out and yeah here is like the husky pup right um, I knew that Sebastian was gonna have this pup like three years ago but ever since three years ago I think I've only drawn him three times which is like once every year <laughs> which is not great right but um i'm going to try to draw dogs more <laughs> and this video hopefully um well it's actually made me want to draw dogs more because i do feel more comfortable now even with these few sketches i'll probably do more in my own time but yeah so with this sketch i, I don't know if it's um, the anatomy of dogs and cats because they're so similar but that one pretty much looked like a cat to me uh, I don't know if it's just me but it, that one really looks like a cat <laughs> mm, I don't know um yeah that's it I guess like that was just me like practicing drawing dogs and it actually works like now that I practice I do feel more comfortable like it started out with um where are they with those where are they with those like really ugly sketches and now I'm more comfortable so yeah thanks for watching see you guys soon